The boys were called edgy. Told they never make it past five episodes. Here those podcast jerks are. Back for season two. The Boys in the Woods podcast. The show your mother warns you about. And that your dad was hiding in the basement listening to. Get ready for the Boys in the Woods podcast. Come back, Charles. As everybody can see that's watching knows that it is bright outside. Our Welcome back bright. to the show, Mr. Brightside. Hey, man, listen, <laughs> springtime, summertime's coming. The sun's up until 10, 11 o'clock p.m. Shit's bright. So we're here. We're taking the waves. We're taking the heat. We're shining bright. I'm hoping cool. these new lights tan this ass. At the golf course, go. dude, I'm telling you, you're going to start. You're going to. I'm a Greek god in the summer. But we weren't two of the 98 that went blind. That's not why we're wearing sunglasses. No, no, we were not two of the 98 solar eclipses who went blind. I'm really excited for those numbers to come out. It's Oh, I have the numbers. It's I'm not even shocked. Even the wife was like Let's, Even, let's go get ahead. right into it. That's just, it's just a quick little fact. <laughs> yeah, go All ahead. Right, I have it written down. That's I have it written awesome. down right here. All right. <laughs> I Googled, I binged. How many yeah. people go blind during an eclipse? It's important to keep in mind. However, the permanent eye damage from the eclipse is very rare. According to the American Astro Astro Astronomical Society, the group estimates that the last solar eclipse in 2017 estimated 100 cases and an estimated 150 million viewers. Like I said, 100 people are dumber than shit. And they went <laughs> blind. Dude, it's, but it's true. The wife at work was watching somebody, and I'll keep this fresh because who knows, but the wife at yeah. work was watching somebody outside. <laughs> were they just staring up there thinking they were going to see Glasses it? at all, just. Oh, my God. And I was like trying to, eh, with the phone, and I'm like, damn. And you, the person was old enough that I understand why they're wearing glasses. Too. But you were in the inside of your head. She's probably like, Darwin, Darwin, mm. Darwin. <laughs> oh my God, she she doesn't do well with with stupid either. It's one of the, it's one of the things that I just love about her. Here's but, the uh, thing, isn't there something in school where there's like a bunch there's like a bunch of rules that are like one of them don't stare at the sun. One of them. Yeah. It's not a conspiracy. It's not like there's <laughs> some aliens conspiracy. up there that don't want you to see no. it. No, they're it's, not going mean, to put laser beams <laughs> down at your fucking eyeballs. No, it's not going to happen this way. Hey, watch out for the aliens, man. I don't know. The solar eclipse to me was cool. At 35, I've seen a few now. I haven't been in the that, annual eclipses. I have, but, yeah, yeah, I haven't been in that path of totality ever. And watching it on TV, which I have multiple times now, but watching yeah. it on TV, it's cool. But there's just like this third of the percentage of people that are, are out there like, the vibrations I'm feeling right now are unlike anything I can explain. And I'm like, that's called mushrooms. Like, don't, what do you mean? What are you going on the news with mind altering drugs? Watching a solar eclipse for holy shit. Close your eyes. Can you touch the fucking leaning tower of pizza? When they interviewed some of those people, you know what it reminded me of? That one lady that go, that one, the lady down south that had witnessed like the the weird neighbor that started their house yeah. on fire. And he's like, I saw him, I saw him start it, and then he disappeared. And she was like all squirrely and stuff. You know what I mean? Like all over the place. Well, yeah. I mean, it was, dude, it was like people were screaming, like at the top of their lungs, screaming, like it's excited. It, it darkness happens every fucking day like oh yeah it, even in the middle of the day check this out rain clouds come in boom it gets dark and cool it's not like it was really anything different now okay it was cool but you're y'all you, you can't make me believe that it's taken acid on a top of a shroom no. mushroom while <laughs> at a fucking ziggy top concert or some shit like that it just makes no sense to me Ziggy Marley. <laughs> Dude, it's like, do you want to know? It's you, the, the what's fucking moon went in front of the sun. Like Jesus. Right. Those are the same people, Charles, that if a tornado happened and they lived somewhere where there's not tornadoes ever, let's just say in the mountains of Alaska, these yeah. people would stare at it and probably wait for it to come right at yeah. them and not even move. Those are how the same people think that the are going to be amazed goes. by it. Yeah. Look how, how beautiful the tornado think? is. Yeah, it's or like the fucking people at Yellowstone trying to pet the goddamn bison and water buffalo and 
Oh, or, the pe- or the people that are literally in Bears. boats you watch these YouTube videos and these people are in boats with GoPros and they're up there taking videos of the lightning. I'm like, you're dumber than yeah, shit. Get yeah, back to land, yeah. you dummy. Just like the people in canoes protesting oil rigs. Yeah. What the hell do you think those canoes are made out of? Petrol. Anything. Where do you think that petrol comes from? That fucking oil rig. What are you doing? Or like the idiots who are blocking these trucks and they end up being milk trucks. What are you doing, man? I think years ago there the also was one. There was also one years ago with these people that were protesting drugs, and they yeah. were like hippies, and they were like yeah. hardcore drugs. They're protesting, but they were also against marijuana. And but yet they looked into them, and they're like, "We use all natural. We use hemp." And I'm like, "You see? Did you really just say this? Did you just yes. say you use hemp, yeah. and you're protesting marijuana and I- illegal drugs?" One of my favorite people of all time was that guy who went on the news and was like, what'd you see? And he's like, I didn't really see nothing, but fuck her in the pussy. <laughs> or, or no, he, like, he did like what five the, fucking times, dude. Well, wait, what about the guy that won the lottery or, or bought the lottery ticket? Remember the, then they had that million dollar, billion dollar lottery? What's you going to do if you win? Hookers and cocaine. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> on like TV. The, those people are real, man. I like real. Yeah. I like real, right? Get out of here. You were not sitting there at the eclipse screaming and crying. What the hell? What the? You might as well have painted your face yellow because you can't really paint it any other color now. You're racist what, if you what do. What cartoon was that chicken run where they're like, the sky is falling? Or no, yeah. uh, meatballs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cloudy oh, with yeah. a chance of meatballs. Cloudy with a chance of meatballs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ch- it happened a chicken run too, I'm pretty sure. Chicken run, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think there was a small I don't know. Small Whatever. I don't watch run. cartoons. I catch a few of these things. Your, your, your attitude on national television has got us in here talking about Disney cartoons from the 90s. It's that's fine. where you Whatever. went with it. Pixar, Disney. It's cool. It's cool that you guys yeah. have led us I mean, like this I said, the, crazy yeah, the, trip. Yeah, the eclipse was cool. Whatever. Just let people know you're on drugs. I guess that's all I'm asking. <laughs> I guess it's the bottom line, right? Like, you can look at the crowd and go, drugs should Not be on drugs. drugs. Never met drugs before in your life. <laughs> and no that shouldn't drugs, be okay. <laughs> in the, in should the be on drugs. <laughs> the sad thing is the one that should be on drugs is probably going to be the one that's arrested at the end of the night, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Drugs are Jesus. Find one of the two. Yeah. <laughs> It'll, they'll help you out. And we're only calling it drugs because the United States government calls it drugs. Yeah. Arguably, I think alcohol and gasoline is way worse. Right. Lots of people only, die. Only if you don't live in or what Oregon, because apparently they just don't let everything go. Yeah, away. I heard. I heard actually that they're reverting a lot of those now. Oh, I they're heard going that, back. That ex- yeah, yeah, I heard that experiment is they, over. They thought that was a bad. They realized that was probably a bad idea. I. <laughs> I don't know. I, you can't sometimes when up. I get confused, Patrick, sometimes when I get confused, I just think about this real quick. I think, you know what? Rome built roads right, and we think we can do it better. That's all that yeah. fucking matters, right? If you're out there listening, if you're ever confused by something, just look at America and go, we thought we could build roads better. It's and also that, like and, those people that, like you and me, that buy something from Ikea, and we just throw the fucking instructions away. Yeah. And we have no wife, fucking wife, idea. Yeah, the wife has no idea. And she's always she always comes by and goes, what's this piece for? And I always go, they always put Don't extra in the fucking box. Don't eat it. Fucking toss yeah, it. Yeah, Get just rid throw of it, it away. before she sees it because if she sees it, she's going to try to put it somewhere. She's gonna... Oh, my God. A little Bobette in there. And she gets, yeah. it's so funny. I, I have 30, 40 minutes sometimes on a really big project. What's his doll? I checked every hole. It doesn't fit any of them. We don't need it. Yeah, Throw it away. Matter. Toss yeah. it. Two hours. Two hours. I'm never building one of those again. Why? I just put a Fucking cat instructions. To... I just put one I... of them cat towers together for the cat. And oh, I, those I are, couple... dude, those are fucking ridiculous. I had three I had extra couple... pieces. Yeah. yeah. A couple pieces. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. Where the fuck is he supposed to go? Cat yeah. seems fine. Yeah. It hasn't fallen yeah, over whatever. yet. So. Yeah. It did almost yeah. fall into the window. It didn't know how far it could lean forward because yeah. she pulled it away from the wall. And it almost fell, and she was thinking it was going to fall because it was leaning forward. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, she'll get used to it. Get yeah. out of She's not in my window anymore now. It's, it's okay. Well, talking mm-hmm. about poorly constructed pieces, let's go ahead and personally discuss the <laughs> Iowa-South Carolina game, and let's talk about how poorly constructed Iowa is, how, how fantastic Clay, Caitlin Clark is. Think of it this way. Caitlin Clark basically took high school students to the NCAA Women's Championship, and Five years ago, it's yeah, it's women's basketball. But today, it's more exciting than men's. It's more expensive than men's. It's pushing harder than men's. Uh, Let's we'll see what you, the WNBA does. But. Do you want me to get into something with you? I, Absolutely. Uh, one of the pieces that I have at the bottom down here 
it did not pull this banner up here, but the women's NCAA championship beat the men as far as numbers go. Yeah, yeah, because I know the women's was like 18-7. Yeah. But, but that's average. That wasn't the peak. I think peak was like 21 or 22. The women's college basketball game, that women's college championship game, beat all but four NCAA men's football games. And, of yeah. course, Michigan Which, was part insane. of three of the four. That's insane. That's insane. It's crazy. That's good, and that's fantastic because we brought this up yesterday on the show. And the, one of the things that's on here, yes, we, the reason why Iowa put together such a crap team, you said it uh, earlier when you talked about this. They didn't do anything to capitalize on getting better. No, they didn't. And they and maybe that's just because they can't because they're Iowa. But you have a great coach. I don't understand. Protect yourself and your PC with NordVPN. Proudly protecting the Boys in the Woods podcast from haters since 2023. How you had a great coach. Great you, had, you had Caitlin Clark, and you have NIL Collective. You have an unregulated NIL Collective. You can't tell me that you could not have gone to one of those women NCAA college athletes in the transfer portal and picked one of them up for 70, 80K. You would have done it for football in a fucking heartbeat. So the most explosive team that school has had in what two decades who wouldn't have wanted to play with caitlin clark I mean, there was I think, so many i think dudes. we There's... know a few players but those were her competition on other teams but wow look how bright i am right now yeah it's that sun see please... that's exactly why you need them glasses Holy on yeah dude yeah can you please cut back camera thank you but uh, yeah there I, I was hearing oh whoa now it looks like i'm definitely from the weekend of bernie's but i was i was listening a little bit <clears throat> to excuses on why Iowa didn't like, and it wasn't Iowa coming out. These were other analysts, other experts from around the league. And they were more or less saying that Caitlin's Caitlin Clark's greatness on one side of the conversation, right? Caitlin's Clark, Caitlin Clark's greatness stopped Iowa from uh, Iowa's ability to recruit players because well, people like, felt because less. She would overshadowed everybody. Yes, yeah. That's one of the deals. Well, yeah. But teams win championships, players win awards. So I don't want that yeah. player anyways. But it appears that a few of these transfer players did well enough on other teams with other superstars that it would have been just fine. Yeah. I, yeah, it, she wasn't fine. about herself. She would pass the ball. It's not like you wouldn't have had opportunities. The championship game in its own right, the reason they started getting in trouble is because Caitlin Clark tried to get her teammates involved and her teammates were trash. I said that she needs to just try to take the game over. She should, she could have just went to the lane. But the problem was is they ran into a buzzsaw, which was South Carolina. And, South Carolina. And, and, and thank you for bringing that up. Yes, because we've talked to Iowa now. Let's bump over to the champions, South Carolina. I agree. Staley had put together a team that was built to win. You saw it last year. They got knocked out yeah. by Iowa in the, right. what, the final four. Yeah. And it's, yeah, they almost did it last year. Had they not lost to Iowa, they probably would have went back to back. Just I like agree. UConn did. I agree. For the men. You needed Sorry. another bad night. Well, no, I, that was, again, too, another situation where you're looking at Purdue. We'll jump to that in a second. I do want to give South Carolina their bet. Yeah, they were a dominant basketball team. And watching it from the men's point of view, watching a women's game, there was a lot of questionable moments, the camping in the lane, but apparently that's a thing. It's I'm not, not mad about the camp. I made the thing about the camping in the lane thing because it was 100% true, but that's just the way that right. they allow college athletes because they did the same thing with Edie. It's Even with him, that. they've held... If you looked at Edie wrong, you had a penalty called on you. So that was he apparently that guy did in the final four did pick up his first fall within 27 seconds of the freaking yeah. first half. So yeah, you were right about that. The meme going around saying, Yeah, he sneezed, so he got his first fall on Edie already. Yeah, it's like Angel Hernandez calling apparently balls the and Yankee strikes. one. Yeah, I saw the phantom call, eh? Yeah, on oh the my Yankees. God. It was well, actually, it just, it just happened again today on the Tigers. Spencer Torkelson, like, why is the this? Bat had the bat here, yeah. and the pitch came in, and he went like this. And I'm telling you, dude, the bat did not go past and, his shoulder. And he called And he called swing. him a fucking strike. And A.J. Hinch comes out and goes, yo, and he's, strike, he swung, strike, he swung, let's go, play ball. And just got back and started playing ball. I'm, when is it, oh, my God. Dude, How is that guy listen. allowed to be an umpire oh in baseball? God. He's the worst. Um, Everybody doesn't like, nobody likes him. Nobody I, likes we'll, him. We'll get to that in a second. We'll get to that in a second. Sorry. Don Staley. I, I love what you're doing in South Carolina. It's fantastic. It doesn't matter 
my opinion, yada, yada, yada. But it's wonderful to watch. I don't I think she needs to go anywhere to prove anything at all. I don't know. I think she's on a level with Pat Summit, approaching those talks with Gino Ariana. I don't think she's going to break that Gino's record because it's like hundred and some games. But th what do they have? They started over. They're 37, 38, no. So, yeah, yeah they, I, I, I mean, mean they're starting anew. She is on a path that, please, if you're out there, just enjoy the show. Because this is one of those greatness moments, right, where we talk about Pat Summit now. But a lot of you probably don't think about Pat Summit at all. And that's not because of anything at all other than she's not as much of an everyday household name as she was back then. Right. But you're watching this happen, and not everybody's a South Carolina fan, but dear God, there are a lot of basketball fans. And you should definitely appreciate well, what Coach Staley that is doing. By what we said earlier about the stats, about the viewership, yeah. that just tells you right there, people are interested. It's Absolutely. not just women. It's everybody. Yeah. Everybody loves what's going on yeah. in sports. I love it. I mean, it. I love Fantastic. what South Carolina is doing down there. But moving now to UConn and Purdue, that championship game, UConn again, what was that, 10, 10 11, or 12 straight wins by double digits in the tournament. Yeah, in I think it tournament. ended up being 11. Um, yeah, give them credit. They... Congratulations, UConn. They were the much yeah. better team. And indubitably, they had a five-star freshman starting <laughs> that that dude is a fucking boss, man. And it's funny. It was one and two, vice versa, on that. That was a great call out, a great pickup on that. But I, my biggest problem with Purdue is the same problem I have with Iowa. How I did you not go me. out in the fucking transfer portal and pick up a point guard or a defensive small forward for for to help Zach Eady? He came back to you he didn't have to nobody does he played four years at purdue nobody does and you gave him nothing yeah do you want me to get into the worst part about Edie? yeah all right we talked about this all right so this is what i found on zach Edie. here's an awkward here's the deal zach Edie was the 33rd ranked player in his class mm -hmm. not 33rd ranked player in his class in the state of florida because yeah. he was from Canada and he played AAU ball in Florida. All right. Yeah. Even more so, he was only a three star. Even more yeah. so, he was the 75th ranked center in his class. 75th yeah. ranked center in his class. Not player, center. Yeah. That's insane what he did at Iowa, what he became. So yeah. if anybody wants to anybody wants to blow smoke at him, his first season, 28 games, 8.7 points as a freshman. Next year, he got better, 14-4 and 7.7. .7. And then after that, he got better with the footwork. He got better with the defense. He became a better player. He, he was the best the player in the, the tournament NBA. this year. He was the best, he was player, the best player in the tournament player. this year. Yeah. He might have been the best player in college basketball for two years in a row. <clears throat> yeah. Arguably. But, but you need a team. Absolutely. It's something that I've started to preach. I know that we've started to preach it often. Let me back up real quick. Sunshine up bright. That's upsetting. But, oh, it's back again. I, I Fuck, I just look like powder. Give me a spoon. I'll bring all the fucking metal to the room. Holy shit. There it goes. Melt it down. Go ahead. Finish it. ADHD and my anger kicked. Oh, kick he's fine. Again. His career at Iowa is... Or Purdue. Or Purdue. <laughs> Sorry, we got the oh, Caitlin yeah. Clark yeah. line going on. His career at yeah, Purdue is never going to be tainted. Yeah. It's never going to be tainted. Same no. as hers at Iowa. You can I mean, say and you, you pulled want. a stat chart in the group, dude. It was ridiculous. It was insane. That stat chart. The, the, the I, split I between her and everyone else. I didn't appreciate Paul's negativity towards her not being the greatest of all time. There, mm -hmm. There is absolutely no question in my mind. That's my personal opinion. But yeah. nobody had seasons like she did. She blew everybody away. Nobody could guard her. There wasn't one player mm -hmm. in college basketball who could guard her. And I tell you what. The way she can move her handles, there probably isn't anybody that ever could. She's as fast as any yeah. player that's ever played the game. She, as far, she with the basketball handles the hands. ball like Skylar Diggins handled the ball in Notre Dame for you women basketball fans. Or, God, I think she led the she led college basketball in assists. Yeah, and was up yeah. there. She was even and a good rebounder. I was trying to I'm trying to think of somebody to, to in the men's ball to put her to, and the names that are the, like the flashiness right now. Now forgive me yeah. for this, but. I'm not saying this is, but her ability to pass is like Iverson-esque, Irie-esque. But her ability to shoot, for the men out there, her ability to shoot is like Curry-esque. 
So you're right. getting this hybrid player who is not those players, but she is her own player, right? And with Zach Eady now, the, I, him in the NBA is going to be fun because listening to everyone, his game isn't going to transition over to the NBA. His game is post and hook. I can think of one player who did that really well. And then I can think of a hell of a lot of players who made a really good career in the NBA doing exactly that. Rebounding the ball, you. playing good defense, you. and having a hook shot that is unguardable. I can tell you one player off the top of my head that was even bigger than him and had was way less mobile. Yao Ming. Yeah, yeah. Yao Ming. Yao Ming. Yao Ming could not. He couldn't run up the court. Right. But now, guess what? He got him the ball down low. He It was money, 80%. Yeah. And here's the kicker with this too, right? He's not going to, he's probably not going to go in the top five and no, I'm no, no. glad he, he probably is going to go at the end of the, the, the back end of the first round, if anything. And, and I'm very glad because that means he's going to go to a team with shooters. You're not going to, the hook shot is going to draw the double team. It's going to yeah. draw the double team. So when Edie passes out at this point, his assist numbers are going to go from four and a half ish to eight because he's passing it now to not NBA or not Iowa basketball players who are probably right. very good, sure. but sure. are going to end up like being assistant coaches or owning a fucking used car lot somewhere. Exactly. We're talking about actual basketball players now. So I think Zach Eady is going to do just fine. He plays defense. He's a big body down low. He can rebound. He can block and he's got a hook shot. Now he, now listening to his stats from you, tells me that he's a learner of the game. That means that he doesn't just play basketball for a couple of hours. Basketball is his life. And when right, you find a player, down. when you find a player whose basketball is their life, you've just found a player who plays in the NBA for 12 to 20 years. And is he going to be a superstar? Mm, who knows? Not. You don't know. Who knows? If he's, who knows? Maybe he ends up being like just a 14 and 14 and 10. Maybe he's a double guy. That's a yeah. really good role player for a team. You need I a think double, a lot of guy. it has to do with people are still afraid of Greg Odom. I think a lot of it has to do with that, which is wild to me that you're going to be taking risks on Beanstalks. Jesus, his name is right there. Victor Wimbledon. Yeah, Here's yeah, the Victor thing. Wimbledon. I didn't realize Edie's 7'3 and he's 300. He's not he, a little guy. He's not a little. He made baby Shaq. Look like a small forward. Yeah, he looked little. But I mean, in the NBA, he's there's going to be a couple. Of, you got uh, NBA seven foot got three seven footers. Yeah, yeah. There's not many. And with a hook shot, there's like, not many good ones. Yeah, with a hook shot like him, who you think Bull Bull's going to guard Edie? Bull, no. You think Bull Bull's going to guard Edie? He you think Victor Wembanyama's going to guard Edie? Because no. I'm watching, because I'm watching Victor make you pop. I'm watching Edie make you pop up and slide underneath your armpit. That's crazy to me. That's NBA moves, yeah. right? Like, like up and under. College, but college basketball players. I, I'm going to try and muscle it through you. I've got more pride than talent. Yeah. Not him. It was fun no. to watch. So it'll be exciting to see. But again, let's that uh, losing teams had all the stories. Moving to UConn, uh, Dan Hurley, one of the greatest damn basketball coaches. I said I didn't know. <laughs> yeah. That comment could not bite me in the ass any I harder read, than it has I lately. I reached out to him a while ago, and it went unread. And I was like, oh, man, I would just like for him to read that comment that I had. I was, It was pretty good. It was about the podcast really appreciates him as a coach, and we'd love to have him on. And that was way yep. before. That was during the season yeah. when they weren't. I think they were like yeah. 17. Understandable, though. That type of coach, yeah. he doesn't even ask what's for dinner. Mm-mm. He comes home and either cook, eats or makes a sandwich and goes and reads basketball, right? He's watching basketball. tape. He's learning what he's reading up basketball. on his guys. He's listening to the feedback. He's getting into practice the next day and putting his young men in the best position to succeed. And it showed magically. Speaking of coaches, Charles, we're going to we'll segue right into this one. Calipari has announced that he is leaving after 15 years, Kentucky. Right. And you speculated Charles is breaking this right now. He broke it the other day. He told us personally on the podcast he believes that Patino is a front runner. I do. I do. I think now there's two in front of Patino in mine. There's two in front of Patino. Jay and I believe he's going to stay retired. But he would yeah, exactly. You'd have to come out of retirement. Have to announce yep. that he's coming out of retirement yep. for and then an option. Donovan. I 
I can't think of his last name. But I don't think he wants to leave the I don't think he wants to come back to college. Did you see Don- it? No, I don't think so either. I think you're talking about the coach from uh, Florida. They won a mm. national championship. Yeah. Uh, did you see Kareem Abdul Jabbar, the white Kareem Abdul Jabbar from Indiana no. State, put is in the transfer portal? His coach, his coach is going. His coach left the team at Indiana State and went to coach St. Louis. So speckly, so the scuttlebutt is that he's yeah. going to St. Louis to play basketball. Much yeah. better opportunity to make the NCAA tournament. But yeah, I would rather 100%. see him go to an Indiana or a Big Ten team, another Big Ten team, even fucking Wisconsin. To be honest, with you. I, I mean, Northwestern. Northwestern. Anyway. Northwestern had some shooters this year. Some Nebraska defense, was pretty they, good this yeah, year. They had, yeah, Nebraska is pretty good this year, which is crazy to think. Fuck football. Nebraska is now a basketball school. <laughs> you got you do what you got to do. Maybe Dylan Raiola will make him a better football team. I don't know. Well, I, I would. Play so rare fantasy football, NBA, MLB with tradable player, customizable fantasy sports picks of your favorite MLB soccer and NBA players with purchasable NFTs. Talk to Alabama about that. Their basketball stadium was built in 1967. You brought that up, and I was like, there's no way. And I looked it up. I'm like, they have not done renovations, like huge upgrades to a basketball arena in 56, <laughs> like 58, 60 years. Like, that's yeah, so I think, I think, I think, so it honestly, though, I'm sure they've done some. Nate but not Oates. Me. So it would be J. Donovan Mitchell, I believe. I'm, I believe Mitchell was his last name, Donovan Mitchell. Or is that the NBA player? Anyways, Donovan and then Nate Oates from Alabama. And here's the reason for this. From everything we're talking about, too, Nate Oates is recruiting players from the transfer portal to go to Alabama to play in a stadium that's 1967. He's going to make two-thirds more money at Kentucky, and he's going to be in a $30 million stadium that was built in the last five years. Sure, but he's built a program there that's probably, honestly, I think the, I looked at the preseason top 25. They're top yeah. 10 team next year with Nate Oates. So in Kentucky's right. not. They're top 15, but not top 20. Or not with, top Nate Oates, with Nate oh, Oates. With Nate Oates. And you maybe know it's, Nate maybe Oates? it's a completely different story. Hey, and if I'm you... Nate Oates, I'm going to Alabama because I like what I built here. And I'm going to Alabama and I'm going, we got to change this 1967 shit or I'm going to Kentucky. I'm not asking know, for more money. You know I want, Oates. what's that? Did, did you know Nate Oates started uh, his coat basketball coaching career in Wisconsin at a D3 school? Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. cool. That's cool. But so now if those three <laughs> don't, if those three don't, if those three don't, right, Jay, Donovan, yeah. and Nate, then I it, it, I wholeheartedly believe Rick Pitino is going to end up with that job. Jay Wright, I think he's happy just doing the college basketball yeah. stuff. I think Jay honestly. Wright's going to stay retired also. I do. Yeah. I agree. Whole, well, today, uh, college is not what it was yesterday. I'm good. But again, it's though, tough. too. It's got to be tough. That's why a lot of coaches yeah. are leaving, honestly. Right. And where but, does Cal I mean, Perry go? Here's the kicker, though. Yeah. I ain't no bitch, so I don't back down for challenges. So why would I, and I know you don't either. So no. maybe Jay Wright is looking at this as the next opportunity. I've done well here. I'm doing well here. Let me go do well over here. What happens if he doesn't? He's going to make more money than he is on TV. He's a great coach. I think it ultimately boils down to, do you have the energy to embrace the challenge? I, I got You've got to be kidding me that this What's is that? even an option. Dan Hurley is on the uh-huh. board for Kentucky. Dan Hurley is another name now, I've heard. And, why would you leave UConn to go money. to Kentucky? You're gonna make you, you're gonna make how you you're gonna make me. one third to maybe 25, 30, 40 percent oh, more at Kentucky. You, that UConn is a basketball. That's all they got. I is know, basketball. but you're I don't know. The, sometimes the math doesn't math out loud. I but I want to see what he's making right now. I Kentucky, can't Kentucky, that absolutely. Much more. I would not be shocked because of the money Kentucky can play, bro. It, it's a money-driven world. It's a money-driven world, and I love what I'm doing here. But if I can ensure the longevity of my family's success over there, I'm going over there. I don't think that, that's a no-brainer, and. We see kids leaving in the transfer portal all the time before we saw coaches leaving all the time in scenarios that would completely blow our mind. That is, that's crazy. Nick Saban from LSU to Alabama. Who would have thought that was going to happen? All right, so Calipari's leaving at 8.5. 
next season, Dan Hurley. They're saving supposed, money. He's not. There's there's some. Dan, the buyout isn't necessary with Calipari. Well, I guess Hurley he's not taking it or something. Dan Hurley is to make six point seven. So that's only one point some million. That's not that much money where I would be like, ah man. But you've got such a you got. Such but if I'm Kentucky, but if I'm going. Kentucky, I'm coming to the table with nine and a half to ten. Is the. the I don't know. I just uh, I don't why know why you'd leave. Why not? Why, I'm Kentucky. Why? We haven't had no, any. You we haven't had any success saying, since 2018. You just won yeah. two national championships. Why are you going to Kentucky? You just won two. What are you going I, to I, Kentucky for? Four point three just, million dollars. Four point yeah, three million but, reasons. But, but you can't tell me after winning two natties, you can't just go to UConn and say match it or I'm gone. And I know. I, I agree, why but UConn they? can't. Why wouldn't they, they be able to? They can't. I maybe. They, they just lose won to two do it. Back to back national. They just won back to back. Here's the kicker. I guess. I guess the reason money. I think it's possible is because if I was Connecticut after the first championship, I would have already wrote this dude a fucking contract that made this conversation we're having not possible. So this falls on UConn's footsteps. If you're coming to me with 4.7 million reasons to leave, I'm taking the 4.7 no, million reasons Charles, to leave. He did get a he did get a co- contract extension immediately after. He's he okay. signed through 2029. So we're but we're both- no, because the point we're making is you give him a contract that doesn't allow this conversation to happen. He apparently yeah. does not have that conver- that he does not have that contract. I think a lot of play a lot of coaches don't want to put that in there just because they don't know what's going to happen, especially with the NIL stuff. I wouldn't. Well, no, I don't I know agree. about you. I wouldn't do the same I'd, thing. I tell you what, this is probably why I'm not an athletic director. But there are multiple situations that we're talking about right now that have already happened in the last 6 months, and one of them being the University of Michigan with Jim Harbaugh. The University of Michigan had every opportunity to pay Jim, what the Chargers could pay. And Michigan decided to lowball the offer, and Harbaugh left. So now here we are in this potentially, possibly, in the same situation where if I'm Kentucky, I'm coming to the door with nine. Okay, you're going to go back to UConn, and UConn will go, yeah, we can give you like nine, one, nine, two, and then I'm going to show you 10, and you're coming to Kentucky. And if UConn doesn't step up to the plate at nine, I, was, I just saved a million. Problem is, that's such greed. You don't need that kind of money to live. That's not, what kind of security is that? That makes no sense. For, for people like you and I, I, I agree with that comment. But at the same time, if I'm sitting on six and I've got the opportunity for 10 and not I don't know 10. how long I'm, and I don't know how long I'm going to be here, I'm going to take I've, the 10. But I've talked to people that I don't want, I don't want to name names, but I know a right. few people that make that kind of money. Not yeah. that kind of money, but that, they live in California and they make that kind of money. And yeah. by the time they take taxes out, you're talking about a couple hundred thousand. Okay, but hold on now. Uh, specifically, that's California. Uh, Kentucky's no, no, got no. a well different think, tax code. I think every state, if you no, make no, 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 no. I promise you, 100. percent Yes, yes, you're right. But California is way fucking different, dude. Uh, I mean, moons and rivers different than the rest of the fucking country. Close to it is New York. But moon's different. Kentucky is nowhere near the taxes. Well, neither, that Probably neither one of these places is either. Connecticut and freaking. Oh, California. God, no, bro. Listen, no. These are glory places. California is completely different. Yes. Yes. On a milli, you take home. You still take home six figures, but it ain't nowhere near a milli. Yeah, but all I'm saying is it's greed at the end of the day. There's it's it's frustrating, but this it's is not, but you can't tell me it's security. Eight hundred thousand dollars is security when you're when you probably already have made thirty eight million in your lifetime. That ain't security. That's just greed. I I, I don't no. disagree with you, but no. again, me personally, if I'm sitting in an opportunity with six, and I don't know how long I'm going to be here, be, and the door opens for ten, I'm taking ten if six doesn't come up. Because I, I am, there, I there am that no, great. I'm not going to lose the ten in three years. There ain't, there ain't no way he's, they're paying him ten, and they let Calipari walk at eight point five. He's still the Calipari's price. Kentucky still was cold. mad, dude. I'm telling you, they are. It's the. It's a weird. Who, it's a weird world. The, it's a weird the, world. They. I don't. What they haven't won since 2018. Yeah, but here's the thing: you have to change how you call it. You have to change your culture. You can't have one and done and expect to win. And who's gonna? Kentucky will not allow that. They want the five stars. Don't want to stay. How are they ever gonna win if this is the way we think of Kentucky? We think of Kentucky. Yeah, but Dan Hurley isn't gonna do that. Exactly. 
Well, Listen, that was he, the Calipari way. That wasn't the Kentucky way. That was the Calipari way. Calipari's been there a moon. It, it, was, was it? Or was that always Kentucky's way? I always well, remember. No, Kentucky because being a Listen, Calipari did it first, and he did it better than anyone else. And somebody did else. Did it. Kansas did it. Florida did it. All these teams did the one and done with the five stars. Well, listen, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it started in Kentucky. That's all I'm saying. Yes, many other teams have done the one and dones after, right? But the best at it was Calipari. And then Shusevsky Sh- figured it out. And oh, fuck, I can't remember the name and I'm upset that I can't. But there was one other coach, right? Those were the three fucking coaches. I believe well, it's, it's not really uh, that Bill Self the one and done. It's just shit. it's just recruiting. Get the best kids. That's all it ever was. Get the best, get all the five stars and bring them onto a super team. That's all it ever was. Here, here's he the other really, kicker too, bro. Even I got a, I got a, I got a yeah. brand new thirty million dollar fucking basketball facility. Exactly. It's like how does that not recruit? Right? I'm just telling I'm just telling you. If I'm on the other side of this, I don't care what I've done here. I'm looking at a $30 million. Do- Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, she's sunny. I should that. close that. Jesus fucking. Wow. Yeah. That's terrible. Where'd that anyways. come from? Because I don't have that over here. No. that's uh, You know where that came from? Me being a cheap motherfucker. That's where that <laughs> came from. That's a window. It's a cheap motherfucker. <laughs> a window to the world. No, it was my new camera light. And it's cheap, right. cheap, 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 right. Yeah, that that fuck. Woo! That was terrible. I just it's upsetting. Well, but this the- is we've gone through this our whole lives, dude. Before the NIL, this was a norm. A coach that nobody thought was going to do anything rises up the ranks, somebody retires and the big school swoops in with big money and steals the coach and everyone's, "Oh, what about those players?" Now today, those players jump in the transfer portal and follow their coach. They're not, but Kentucky's not the type of school where if you go in there, they're going to give you four or five years to succeed. They want it now because they're already pissed at Calipari. It hasn't brought them a championship in what six years, seven years. They're mad. So you got four years left on Hurley's contract at six milli. Hurley, if he gets hired at Kentucky, is not fired in two. He starts getting talked about the hot seat in three, and he'll be gone at the end of four. So instead of making twenty-four million, you can make forty million. In the problem, you can't just build what he did at UConn in two years. Listen, it ultimately comes down to the money. I, I, I we can't say that Hurley can't do these things. He's just won a championship at UConn back to back, first since Florida. He's done all of this in a handful of years. He can absolutely go to Kentucky with the squad Kentucky has and be very successful. I, I don't think that I, I don't think that's a question. Do you? I do because it's still the, they're still the one and done players unless he recruits different players. Okay, okay. Hurley isn't going to walk into Kentucky and try coach like Calipari. I just I, I don't know where matter. you're still where you're same, feeling that at. I guess they're still the same kids with the same mentality. We just want to go pro. We don't give a shit about. That's the problem. It's a culture at, at Kentucky. It's not the players. You got to get rid of that culture. You got to get rid UConn, of it. Listen, hold on. UConn had two graduate starters, two sophomores, and a freshman. So they had two transfers, two sophomores, and a freshman. How many of them come back next year? That's, I mean, you're one and a half done, right? Yeah, Charles, <laughs> but you got, you got guys that they just – because they were played. They just want a natty. They, they had to replace a bunch of guys. Of course you got freshmen and sophomores well, on no, the I'm just, I'm just saying it's the, it's the same fucking thing on, on every team. It's, he's not going to do anything different in Kentucky no, that he's not doing you at saw, UConn. You saw – I think two five-stars already left Kentucky after Calipari was, put, was yeah. pretty much out of there. Right. So, but, I mean, oh, yeah. but, but hold on. What was his name? Cam? Or the Newcastle, right? Newcastle isn't going to hop in the portal and head with his coach if he stays in the NBA or in, in college. Uh, he probably he he probably can go pro. You know, he's college. You just that's a lot of done world though. How's UConn winning like that? This is what I'm getting at, bro. It's yeah, everywhere. Everywhere. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. If Hurley's doing it, fucking UConn, he could definitely do it at Kentucky. Kentucky yeah. is a better basketball school than UConn. No, they're not. That's because UConn's one really? more in the recent past does not mean that uh-huh. Kentucky isn't the better basketball school. I don't know. They're pretty even as far as I'm concerned. Okay, so outside of Dan problem. Hurley's last two wins, name a UConn player. The one that comes to mind for me, Kemba Walker. How long ago was that? Not that long ago. A moon, I mean, bro. They, they won a national championship before, not that long ago before the two that they just won. We'll pull it up real quick. I yeah, have faith in Dan earlier. That's in the yeah, last I mean, 10 years. They've won at least three of them. I mean, it's Kentucky one. 
I, I don't know. Look at look look that up. Uh, a look at UConn's men's five national championship wins. So they had two, or now they're up to six. So they had two in the last two years, and they managed four in their entirety before that. Kentucky has more. Which yeah. I, Argu- I, I, ar- arguably, though, as a lot of people want to say this, Calipari was cheating. Say what you want. Say what you want. I don't fucking care. Everybody agrees that. Everybody (laughs) agrees with this that Kentucky (laughs) was cheating to win a lot of shit. There was a lot of money, a lot of McDonald's bags with cash. Come on, let's just be honest. Kentucky won before Calipari. They won with Calipari. They're going to win without Calipari. The I, I, I doubt that they will without him until they change the culture because the, what it is, those players that are there are just players that they see it as a, I'm not, this is a not a negative I, I don't thing. disagree with you, but they even as a Cal- Calipari, to to the NBA, that's all Calipari in his exit interview stated exactly what you're saying right now. So uh, again, what makes the so, culture, what, you can't change the culture. But that's, no, no, that, that's, that's, that's that. Calipari in the last three years went from, one and dones to veterans to a mixture, right? Like it's not like he wasn't trying that. The it's, only reason these kids were staying is because they weren't good when he. They had a couple really bad seasons. You can't just, go pro you know, if you I, average I mean, thirteen and five. Like they do. The, these kids know what they're if they're going to get drafted or not. You have a coach that has coached so many NBA players. He can be like, "Hey, man, you're not ready," and you'd be like, "You better respect them because he's going to tell you whether or not you can play." And I think I'm maybe really that hard not move them there. I'm trying really hard not to look at your argument right now as just the old guy in the room, bro. Like, I, it's the players leave, coaches leave. This is college basketball for the last 20 years. The only difference yeah. is players get to freely do it now instead of having to leave for the NBA. I, I just, I, I, the money's always been there. The greed has always been there. Teams, teams always get fucked. We have these conversations in every single off season. It's, the it's, the culture is never going to. The culture is never going to change, bro. Look, if that dude won a championship that way, I could win a championship that way. Well, the culture have a bunch definitely of people changed to... because we watched Michigan win a national championship and they didn't have any fucking nil money. So that was the a culture coach. definitely. They call no. That's culture. That's the they literally. The well, no, no, yeah. Jim culture. Harbaugh brought the culture in that it if it works, that. Yes. If it works in college football, it can work in college basketball. It, how? Why can't it? Fanatic Sports Gear, proudly endorsed by the Boys in the Woods podcast, where the boys shop for all their jerseys and sports cards. Because it hasn't. That it would it be the only it. answer I have. I don't it know of anybody it. that's won a football championship the same way you win a basketball championship. Those recruitings are different. I'm telling you, if you have a $30 million basketball facility, I don't give a fuck what the name on your school is. As a person trying to go pro, I want the best equipment around me. You don't think that's not a recruiting pitch? Well, I can go to anyone in the pitch. country as Kentucky and get whoever the fuck I want. It can be a I recruiting want. pitch, but how can you? Why? Why can they not justify why they're not winning then? If they, if that's such a great. That's why Calipari's pitch. gone, bro. Yeah. Wait, but it's not, the, it's not always on the coach. The players have to take fucking accountability too. You can't just say it's on the it's on the coach because here's the problem. John Beeline was getting two and three star basketball players and taking them to the national championships and final fours. He could have won a national championship had they not had they made the right call against Louisville. Arguably, he would have had the first national championship the way that you and I have just argued over it. Okay, you but he doesn't. Otherwise, he okay, doesn't. I agree with you. I agree. I agree with you, but he doesn't. So it doesn't well, work. Okay, so he was a shot off of having. I agree, him. but I, man, made, listen. I say I agree with you. To the national I think the okay. Arguably, the one team that did was Michael Jordan's team, but he still had people like James Worthy and a, a handful of others who ended up being NBA also. Well, they, those guys are probably still taking money under the bag. I still believe yeah, that. Yeah, 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 I yeah. still believe that LSU, what's Blue Chips movie had a lot. You, they always, there's always truth to some of these things. Come on oh, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That Blue oh, Chips yeah, yeah, movie yeah. like really dug in deep to me, like big time back in the day. No, I, I really I, I, I 100% agree with you. I guess I just don't feel that it's going to change as fast. Everybody thinks that money is just going to, let's get the greatest coach in there and that things are going to change overnight. It ain't going to fucking change overnight. It doesn't happen Michigan that way. thinks that right now. With FAU's well, head coach, literally, yeah, that's that. Literally, that's Michigan's basketball entire environment right now because of the coach we just hired. Charles, so I, you and I both know that we have the most passionate fan base. That's why that is. Uh, yeah, but not. lots of schools have these passionate, yeah, passionate fan bases. They're psychopaths, so that's the problem. <laughs> I, I don't understand. I don't understand how you can justify this. Like, I love my team. I love them, but I, like you said, I have to sit down at the end of the day and go. 
when they lose and I'm like, oh man, yeah. I mean, I saw Purdue lose to Wisconsin and I, I was like, this team's going to And that's because they played boring like, basketball wrong. That you had well, shitty yeah, basketball players that. who yeah, took too many shots. That's a head coaching issue. Again, though, coaching is a really big deal. It's a but, really but, big deal. But here's the thing. Yes. You watched UConn all season long and they did not make those mistakes. And you could tell that it was, like you said, it was Dan Hurley. It was the coaching aspect. It was the leadership. So why wouldn't thing. Dan Hurley be able to bring that to Kentucky? You don't just, because you can't, unless you bring every player from UConn with you, it's not, it, you have to build that with the players. It's not going to happen immediately. Right. Okay. So let me try and untangle your comments again. So basically what you're saying is in the short run, Kentucky isn't going to have success, but let me ask you this. Here's who's going to win a championship first. Calipari or Kentucky? I, Calipari's going to Arkansas. They never went in a championship in Arkansas. He's got to rebuild the culture, so it's, it would be the same clock as whoever whoever comes into Kentucky. So more or less, Kentucky is going to win a championship before Calipari. Oh yeah, they're. If go we had to put money. money on the table right now, if I had to put money on the table right now, I give Kentucky four years. Yeah. I'm not. Well, I'm in saying, four years, I, I'm, I'm, hold no, on. No, no. The math. In four years, Dan Hurley brought two championships to Kentucky, or five years. So it's the same, it would be the same. Yeah, it'd be the same yeah, fucking you, clock. Yeah, they. They. UConn was a. It'd be the same fucking clock. UConn was an established, had an established program before he got Hurley. Kind of got handed. Bro, a we just good hand literally, we UConn. literally just found out that UConn has six championships in the entirety of their life, and two of those. Were or just one in the last two years. So you spread the other four out, and Kemba Walker won one a handful of years ago. So well, there's the three in 20 years, so you got to throw the other three in the other 70 years. Let's also pull this in there. The SEC is a hell of a yeah. lot easier to win than the ACC. Regardless, you because still got to go to the, the you still got to go to the NCAA and win it all, right? Like, you still got to play March Madness. They were still playing March Madness yesterday. It's not like March Madness is new. The only new thing about it is that it's easier to get in now. Before you, it was you, harder to get in. You're you're putting way too much faith into a coach, though. That's the problem. How many times have we seen really good coaches go to crappy programs and that they couldn't do it? It's That's, happened hold many, on, many, hold many on. times. For one, many many times. I've seen a million coaches, and that number is tongue in cheek. Leave one school for another for more money. Period. Yeah, and it doesn't always work. How many out. times have you seen it? But it does work out. It doesn't Sometimes. always work out, but it does. It, it, we hear it more is. that it doesn't work out because of how fat, passionate fan bases are. We don't it's hear as much about the working out. Becky Hammond. It's a gamble. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Of course. Of course. But I'm te listen, it ain't no gamble if you're sitting on six and you offer me 10. I'm taking it. Right? No, 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 no. That's, that's me. That's the, me. The you, on the other it, hand, you're the, gonna sit where you're gonna sit where you're comfortable. Gamble, I get it. The gamble's not for Dan Hurley. The gamble is I'm just saying, I think these fans, because like you said, the chatter is so fucking loud at Michigan, all these teams that are getting new coaches. I feel mm -hmm. like people just have these crazy expectations right. now that there's NIL and all these other places. Yeah, you can want those players, but oh, guess I don't what? disagree you're with still, you. There's still Duke, Kansas, all these other really good blue blood programs right. that are going to go after these five stars, too. You can't always just get the kids you want. Yeah, right. can you throw a bunch of money at them? Sure. But like you said, it, it's how, up to how the much kids. did you hear? How, how much did you hear about Kentucky being upset with Calipari? Realistically, it wasn't Kentucky. It or was did the, Calipari like leaving Kentucky man. kind of shock? Did, did, but again, though, it wasn't Kentucky. Right. And Calipari left Kentucky. Kentucky didn't get yeah. rid of Calipari. There'd be a buyout. Right. So Calipari left Kentucky. So you right. so there is nothing in that scenario that tells me whoever they hire isn't going to have five years because you, you're going to you're going to give them two years. You're going to see what happens in the third year. And then you're going to start getting angry or happy in the fourth. That is like Here's, the life cycle of coaches. This is the this except is the Rich Rodriguez in Michigan football. Speaking of Michigan football, this is the equivalent of what just transpired with Cal Perry. He literally did not just go somewhere. He went to a rival school. So this is like Jim Harbaugh leaving Michigan and going to what's a decent Big Ten school. Penn State. Outside of, Mich outside of Penn State. We'll say Penn State Penn because State. they're like the third best team.
Yeah, it would be yeah. bad. If it's, yeah. 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 This would all, and I hate to say it out loud, to match the names and teams, maybe Wisconsin. But regardless, Penn State or Wisconsin. But I don't, listen, I'm not on the side. I am, I'm playing middle of the Why field here. Personally. Just, there's, some, there's something weird with him going to the, to staying in the SEC though. If he just left the school, oh no that that is anger spite. yeah that's personal Ab- yeah yeah that's personal right. absolutely Cal Park could have went anywhere leave. that's the thing he yeah, didn't Cal have Park could have went uh, Cal Park yeah. yeah and he didn't have to leave either I guess that's the weirdest part for me maybe that's what I'm saying it just it, there's nothing in this scenario that says if Dan Hurley takes the job Kentucky isn't going to be wildly successful and oh, no, Dan they're Hurley's going to be out. successful I, at Kentucky I'm not saying they're not going to be successful I'm saying it's the fans that bother me the fact that they're just they're they haven't even gotten a coach yet at Kentucky but they're clamoring right. for other people's coaches other teams and, coaches and here's and here's just the other reality Kentucky, as well you know? there's a little bit of history going against UConn right now how many teams have ever won back to back NCAA championships I've never heard of one. Mm, the last team UCLA do it? Maybe UCLA back what eighties or seventies or eighties? Or was it UCLA or was it UNLV? One of those teams went yeah. back to back. Well, was that like seventies, eighties, seventies, eighties, way early nineties? Yeah yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Not in today's basketball, right? No, not even close. If you're gonna be you're rebuilding anyways. You're gonna be rebuilding anyways. Why not do it for more money at a better facility? every year you're rebuilding you and i've discussed this multiple times on the nil it's not it's not like you're not going to be doing anything different here or there you're just going to be with a different name in a better facility i think you would be a fool not to take that but there is something to he could have a buyout he could have a buyout clause that's really expensive yeah dan hurley yeah, so absolutely. maybe maybe he doesn't want to do that. But I mean, Kentucky maybe, saved a load of money on not having to buy out Calipari. So they got did, they got that, 30 milli. Free. The fact that they they resigned him 18 hours ago lets me know that they probably tried to secure his ass to keep him there, Dan Hurley. So Oh, they did just prob- resign Hurley again. It was, 18, it was 18 hours ago that this was just posted. You're cutting in and out right now, dude, and you're lagging. Pause it. Yeah, that worked. Dan? Um, no, what were you saying? Did they just restructure it's that eight, Dan? It's that 18 hours ago he was uh, re-signed or whatever it was. Uh, okay. It, you, if, for one, if you're Kentucky, you're already making these phone calls. This Calipari news is... Uh, this, yeah, sign an oh, extension that was 20. through 20, 20. Sign an extension through 2029. It says 18 hours ago. So they must not have... Okay. They must not have... Yeah. Okay, but, but here's the thing. If you're Kentucky, we're hearing about this Calipari news yesterday, right? Or the oh, day yeah, before. Yeah, they're in, and they've been hearing about this for weeks, probably. For a week. Or even week a week or a couple of weeks. They've been at the table yeah. talking. The AD already knew the moment he was gone, phone calls started to be made. The season's over. You got to get on it. You got to be recruiting. These pieces are going to fall soon. I wouldn't be shocked if Hurley, I don't expect it. That's my personal opinion on it. I mean, we right. just, like you but, said, they throw them out and they throw them out now. You, you've got to fall on it. Absolutely. And Kentucky can, and they will. But I do, I think my favorite personally would be Nate Oates for the Kentucky job. I think that's my favorite. Honestly, he's probably the one that they could get the easiest and probably yeah. wouldn't have to pay the highest. Well, I mean, yeah. Outside of Rick Patino, that's that, that, that'd be an easy call. Yeah. Yeah. He, but yeah, see, Patino comes with so much uh, negativity. I, I agree, but I, but I but the know. fans don't care if he wins, and Rick Pitino can win, and that's upsetting. Yeah. You and I are not Rick Pitino fans, and I hate no, having no, to be no, in no, the no. middle on this conversation. Not, no, no. <laughs> yeah. he does, no, I'm just letting the fans it, know. I'm just letting. I'm just letting the listeners know. If he does get signed <laughs> by them, we get to rag on him for fucking forever. So why not? Yeah, right? I've Go just for it, I just. I'd be. I'd be just. I'd be just pickled tink. For Absolutely. Sure. What else do we have to hit on? What else do we have to hit on? There was something specific. Well, we were Drafts talking about the Masters. Soon. We were talking about the Masters. Oh, the Masters. Coming up here. The Masters. Yeah, the... Let's, let's hit on that real quick. Well, I can tell you who I was. I just had the list up here. I was looking at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was yeah, looking yeah, at yeah. the list. I've been thinking so much about playing golf. I forgot that the Masters was even a thing. Boys in the Woods merchandise. 
Get yourself some Boys Podcast swag here at boysinthewoods906.shop. So I, Not that I forgot it was a I, thing. I just I, I had it on today. I had to find it on Peacock. Yeah, I was talking to my buddy, one of the guys at work with. He's yeah, man. He goes, he goes, yeah. I really freaking, I really want. He's, I really want Scotty to win or or Cam. Mm-hmm. But I'm like, man, I want the dark horse. Yeah. I want the dark horse to win. I want John Rom to freaking come see. back and win this I, thing. Yeah. I thought Bryce at DeChambeau, too. That would be funny. Live golf. Or Mickelson. What if Mickelson just has one of those short? Yeah. What if Philly just comes in, the yeah. old lefty comes in, and he just balls out? What if he's six or eight under after the he first round? really good golf first over round. that lip. Yeah. He's still playing really good golf. I. Are they going to pair Tiger and uh, Phil together? I guess, the, I guess the one topic on my mind, dude, is why. Are they? I don't know. I just be. wondered if they were. They better be. Uh, but bringing up Tiger too, it's the one thing on my mind. It's yeah. It, it, I think if it's not in the first day pairing, it depends on play. It, it, yeah. it depends on where they are and how they play. It, it, the world would love Tiger... a Phil and Tiger matching pairing one more right. time. Probably not going to see it again. I love what Tiger did to Mostly golf. Mostly because I think it's time for Tiger Woods to get the hell out of the PGA, come back for the Masters every year. What's that? It, I was just wondering, is this just, is he just a token? Is he just a token piece at this point? I don't know, man. I No, I think the competitor that is Tiger Woods is keeping him where he's at right now, but he belongs in the Champions League. I don't understand why he's not there. Age wise, sure. He's age wise, he's allowed in, right? But age wise, sure. Ability and talent, sure. Body, no. His body's hurt. His body is broke. Okay. It's, it's why Johnson. you don't see Rory McElroy dr- jacked anymore. It's why you don't see Bryson DeSambo, DeShambo jacked anymore. John Rom jacked anymore. Okay. Yeah. Everybody wanted to be Tiger, but now look. The cool thing about golf is the longevity is the fact that you can play from four years old all the way until you're 98 and yes i've golfed with many 98 year olds who hit the ball straighter than most people i know still (laughs) that's the greatest thing about golf but when your body at least in the champions league you can be riding in the cart dude you ain't got the body anymore go to the champions league ride in the cart start stop smashing your body all season long to cut or barely make the cut so TV can watch you shoot off on a Saturday and fuck off on a Sunday. Bro, your body ain't in it anymore. Okay, oh, I'm not having sex anymore, and that's what's gonna that's what's gonna take me to the top. I'm not sure how that got out. You're not sure how that got out. How many people did you tell? Everybody. He told like, everybody. Jesus Christ. Like four if you don't know yeah. how it got out, that means you told more than two people. And if oh, willing he told to everybody. Bet, a smart guy oh, like you would everybody. remember two so you're telling five six ten people bro come on stop playing dumb well, the, the fact right? that it broke like, on like so many not having players. sex leading up to the masters is not going to win you the masters that's insanity it broke Shit, on so many might, different news networks there's no way there's no way that he didn't tell a bunch of people let's see let's just go down no, to the I'm, bottom I'm, of the leaderboard i'm, 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 I'm Six fifty to one, Tiger Woods. Put five, put five bones on him to win it. Six fifty to one. <laughs> Six fifty to one. Yeah, that'd be fun. That'd be yeah. Fun. Five, just put, just throw five on it, right? All right, man. We we really something's going on in my house with the internet. I, somebody's downloading something somewhere. Yeah, it's right. It's time to roll out anyway. We're good We're to go. Really, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I agree. I agree. Forty three seconds behind. Strange. Very strange. We can cut it. We cut it. You're gonna have to take us out, bro. Yeah, you're gonna have to take us out. I'm out. Stay safe out there. Everybody welcome your champions. We love you all. Smile more.